In this tutorial, we've been given a uh, land XML file. We want to convert that to a form that we can display in a Trimble on a Trimble Field Level 2 system. So first thing to do, we've got to open a new job in EasyGrade. So go File, New, and the job name is going to be Waterway. The file we've been given is waterway.xml. So we'll just type in Waterway. Yeah, we'll just that full screen. So for now we need to import the land XML file. So from the file menu, file, import land XML, and the file we're importing is called waterway.xml. So select it and click open. Now we start the import land XML dialog. So just click read to read it. Now in this XML file, we've, it's got three surfaces in it. The first one's a natural surface. So we need to tell EasyGrade what sort of surfaces they are. So the first one is just one for a natural. Now surface, the second surface is a design surface. So we enter two. And the third one's a design surface as well. we'll click two and OK. All right, so now we've come up. So it's imported the data. Um, and what we're looking at here is the natural surface. Now we can view the triangles by clicking on Actually, before we look any further, just make sure we've got the right the right unit. So click on View, and here this job is in Survey Feet. So we we are using Survey Feet. It just picks up what you last used, but um, it's always good to check that. So we've got using Survey Feet. Now we want to view the natural surface triangles, which were in the Land XML file. So to do that, click on View and Triangles, and there are our natural surface triangles. Now we need, if you want to look at some contours, click on contour, calculate contours, and they're the contours for the natural surface. Now we can now look at the two design surfaces we have. The first one is what's called WW1, and you can zoom up there. So that's the second, this job sort of consists of a, two drains, a drain up there and a drain down here. So that was the first surface, and the second surface was this drain. Now what um, what we really want to do here, when we're in the field level 2 system, we want to do this as, as one job. We could do this as two separate jobs, since we've got two sets of design surface triangles, but we'll just do it as one. So to do that, we need to create a combined model. So the first thing to do is go into Contour just, and Surface Parameters. Just click Reset here. We're going to reform the triangles. Click Reset. Go to Surface Point Selection. Click Reset there as well. Click All. Okay. So now go from the Contour menu, Form Model. Now what that's done, that's reformed the triangles for the whole job. Now, it's a bit messy where the triangles are joining other triangles across empty space here. So what we want to do here, we want to trim some of those triangles out. So from the contour menu, contour, edit model, select triangles by intersecting line. And what you can do, you just draw a series of lines in here. So left click to start and move. You can zoom and pan as you go so we can keep going here. You get the hint, just keep left click and keep moving. And when you want to finish, just hit the enter key. And the triangles are marked out to be deleted. Hit the delete key. So that's got rid of all those extraneous triangles. Uh, actually, there's still a couple up the top. You just have a look in here. We'll remove these ones as well. So contour, edit model, select triangles, we're intersecting a line. Hit the enter key and delete. All right, zoom extents again. All right, now just create the contours just to make sure everything still looks all right. Contour, calculate contours. And just check your contours. The, the, the surface out is only as good as the, the contours here. Now they look all right. 
just be aware like the contours that we imported came from a different um, different package maybe civil 3d or similar and we've reformed the, the triangle so they could slightly change so just check the contours if they do change you can go back and do the surfaces independently and use the triangles as they were imported all right now with the field level 2 system it needs a, a master bench point as a minimum because everything is referenced off that master bench and we've been given some coordinates so from the tools menu we've gone tools add benchmark now we're using the master bench and we've been given coordinates and I'll just type these coordinates in one three nine three oh six nine four dot eight eight seven easting value one two four four zero eight four dot four zero three and the height was a hundred and just click OK and that will put the a master bench point in. Now what's also good to have some benchmarks as well because they're an indicator for the operator once he's in the field as a visual check that where he thinks he is is where he actually is. Now a good spot for a benchmark here is probably the end of this drain probably the furthest away from the master bench as you can get now you can look at um, zoom that point up there and if you just show the points at the end of that alignment it's point 0.44 we know what that point is on the on the ground so we're going to go tools add a benchmark and we're going to make sure it's a benchmark and we're going to use the existing point of 44 click OK so there that's our that's our first benchmark now you could add some other benchmarks another good spot at the end there I guess um, anywhere you know exactly on the ground where you should be all right as a final check here we're going to just export this to Google Earth it's just a visual check that where we think we are is where we actually are on the on the globe so we'll click on file export to Google Earth now it's a UTM zone it's UTM coordinates and it's zone 15 now we're not using Trimble though we actually collected this with civil 3d or similar so it's a true UTM coordinate system and we'll just display the points so click the points and click on KML export and that will come up in, in Google Earth and so you can you can have a look at that make sure it's where you expect it is um, you can see there's a creek running along here and the uh, this channel we've just designed runs into this creek so probably obviously a high spot there so we're running the water down the road around the corner to the creek so it all looks good there so we're happy at this stage so that's the end of the first part of this video the second part will actually show you how to create the Trimble GPS file all the data is ready to go now uh, thanks for watching